Hey everyone, I am Justin Smith, the Scouting and Recruiting Analyst at Touchdown Alabama. Thank you guys so much for joining me today on our YouTube page. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, hit the notification bell so you can be notified when we drop content on our YouTube page. Today we are continuing our series on spotlighting the Crimson Tide's early enrollees. And today we're going to take a look at five-star linebacker Jihad Campbell out of IMG Academy in Bradenton, Florida. He's currently standing at six foot three, weighs approximately 225 pounds. He's already enrolled that Alabama currently taking classes he will participate in the team's spring training and spring practice with the Crimson Tide and he will and is expected to play in the annual spring game a day in April and now we're going to take a look at what Jahad Campbell brings to the table take a look at his senior film some of the top plays that he was able to do during his time at IMG Academy of course we have John Ivory running the film for us today he is our producer at Touchdown Alabama you can get the film rolled we're going to take a look at what Jahad Campbell can do on the gridiron he's going to be an edge rusher on this particular play get a Scoop and score a defensive lineman's dream. He's going to show some decent top end speed for a 6'3, 225 pound linebacker. And like I said, he's a guy who could be an inside linebacker or outside linebacker at the next level. We're going to stop this play right here, John. And you guys are going to see that John Campbell, you see that he's pointing out with the graphic. And he's in a bit of an interesting spot right now. You're not going to see too many edge rushing prospects, specifically at the high school level, be lined up against a slot wide receiver. And I think that's Shows the confidence that IMG Academy has in Jai Campbell's athleticism and his ability to play in space. I also think he's one of the top coverage linebackers in the 2022 recruiting class. So it's pretty interesting. I think it's significant that he's actually um, basically lining up against a slot wide receiver on this particular play. It looks as if he's going to come on a blitz on this play as the quarterback is going to drop back. You can get the film rolling back now, John. We see that Jai Campbell is basically going to come off of that wide receiver when the ball is snap. He's going to come in and basically wreak havoc on the quarterback as Jahad Campbell takes down a Bishop Sycamore quarterback on that particular play right there. We're going to see Jahad Campbell rushing from the edge once again. And when you take a look at his stance when he's rushing from the edge, it looks as if he's a cat ready to pounce, a lion ready to pounce. Just taking a look at that last play we saw that he came on a bit of a stunt. We can go back to that last play if we can, John, on that last um, play at the beginning of it. We see that he's going to come on a stunt. He's going to delay his rush. He's going to set the other guy come in, let him go underneath him up. And he's going to come behind that other guy with that opening once you see that whole opening and once again make a play on Bishop Sycamore's quarterback so we see that he has an ability to control his rush as well he knows how to work in a stunt situation so he's going to be able to produce I think especially at that edge rushing position outside linebacker for the Crimson Tide on that particular play showing his ability to play sideline to sideline I think he does that really well as well just taking a look at his full entire game we're going to see him basically just run through a block and get to the quarterback showing his ability to stack and shed and basically run through the block and get to the quarterback a very strong prospect as well rushing from the edge on this next play as well going to see him not allow the offensive lineman I get the blocker I'm not sure if that was a tight end or an offensive lineman but did not allow him to get into his chest keeps his arms extended not let him get the best of him and make sure that that guy, that guy does not get around the corner as he is the edge rusher once again showing off that impressive stance on this particular play showing some relentless, relentlessness on that particular rush so this, I feel this guy has the entire package, especially as an edge rusher. His ability to explode out of his stance and just get into the backfield. On a drop back in coverage. Watch how quickly watch how quickly close on the football on that play. We can go back to that play as well, John. We see him basically lined up in a coverage situation, more so as an outside linebacker playing standing up. Watch how quickly close on the football. I think that quarterback is hurt on that particular play. We can keep it running, John. I think the quarterback is down. John Campbell showing he has some force on this contact as well. Seems, seems as if the hit caused a bit of a, some controversy. But I feel like I said, John Campbell has the full package in terms of being a linebacker. This is going to be the last play that we show you guys. He's going to show his closing speed, his ability to play sideline to sideline. If you guys are able to watch his full film, you guys can check it out on this huddle. But th th those are some of the top plays that we were able to get from his senior film at IMGX. 
academy. He has a lot of experience playing inside linebacker. I know he's played a lot of edge during his time at IMG Academy, but they also allowed him to line up against slot wide receivers. They allowed him to drop back in coverage as an inside linebacker. And you just take a look at his sophomore film before he transferred to IMG Academy. He played a lot, he spent a lot of times at inside linebacker. So this is a hybrid linebacker in every sense of the word. I am interested in seeing where the Crimson Tide will play him at first. He fits more of a inside linebacker frame in terms of his frame, his frame at the moment i think he can be just as effective as an edge rusher at that outside linebacker position for the crimson tide as well but jihad campbell is who we looked at today of course he's a five-star prospect out of img academy in Bradenton, florida currently enrolled at alabama he will participate in spring practice spring training go through the full offseason program we'll see what he'll be able to do for the crimson tide in the future as always i am justin smith the scouting and recruiting analyst for touchdown Alabama.